We're out of time. We've been doing this for how long now? We're on day 299 of, of flattening the curve, and I've not seen any dead people yet. I mean, now, come on. now, now, but what's sickening me now is I'm watching the same people. Yes, I don't, I don't like to look at the mass people either. It breaks my heart. I try to look because I, I'm really, I'm gullible, not gullible, affable. Affable is the word I'm looking for. Maybe, maybe you're gullible and affable. I'm gullible and affable. Yes, <laughs> but i but so I, I, I. I usually have a smile on my face. I, I really love people. Like I love people. I love l discovering new people. I love meeting somebody I don't know and finding out what's going on in there. I love it. And when I walk by people, I try to, I, I don't try. I usually have a smile, but now when I look at them, my heart is, is breaking inside. Yes. Yes. I can't believe you. I just can't believe you're still doing this. I, I would have never guessed if we were this time last year, if you said it was going to go this long, I would have told you you're not getting it right. There's no way. But OK, but in all of this, we know this is going on. We were amazed by it because we continuously talk about it. It is most certainly high up on the top of our radar for list of things that are that are that are taking up our thoughts. And so, but what's next is what's troubling the most is that the people are lining up. I turned on the news. I normally don't turn on the news in the morning, which is really odd. It must have been Holy Spirit led because I don't turn the TV on in the morning. I, I, I usually listen to like somebody's show on YouTube while I'm in the shower getting ready. I'm listening to preaching. I'm doing that. I turn the TV on. It's the local news in Charlotte, North Carolina. And they're showing people at five o'clock in the morning, lining up to get the vaccine in their cars. Okay? Yeah. Once that, once that vaccine, your, their brains already polluted. Once the vaccine pollutes it directly, we're going to have some problems. I, I, I am concerned about what the people are going to do when they're totally, totally lost. The scripture said in the days of Noah that the people, their flesh was corrupt and their minds were continuously evil. Right? All think flesh about is corrupt. Think about, think about how you're going to wrap it up. That, that is how we're wrapping it up. So understand, I know I'm preaching to the proverbial choir. Man, you all know this, but if there's in if someone is coming to this that has <clears> never <throat> ever heard this before, okay? If someone is is coming to this and they've never heard this before, Jesus said in Matthew 24 that it would be as it was in the days of Noah. Now it goes on to say in, in the Bible, it says, for they will be eating and drinking and taking in marriage. It makes it sound like it's just like any other day. And that's what most preachers preaching from the Bible will say. It's just like any other day and, and nothing could be further from the truth. The reason Jesus didn't have to go into details about it is because he's talking to a bunch of men who knew what the scriptures said about those days. Okay? They were eating the flesh of man. They were drinking the blood of man. They were raping women. They were taking men's wives to have offspring with them. Who? Who they? They who? The fallen angels. Okay? So Jesus said it would be like that would be and i can imagine the disciples are sitting there and their eyes are like holy crap <laughs> it's going to be like that okay and so yes because remember all the earthquakes all the wars and rumors of wars and all the pestilences are just the beginning of sorrows that's nothing jesus is like you ain't seen nothing yet these are just the beginning of sorrows right but as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be when the Son of Man returns. Get your house in order. Cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Not like the knowledge of God, like, yeah, I know who he is. No, no, like anything that God says. If it exalts itself against what God says, Cast it down and bring it into captivity to the obedience of Christ Jesus. Running out and getting a vaccine 
because you're afraid of what you might have is not to the obedience of Christ Jesus at all. How in the world does any Bible-believing Christian think like that? Cast down your imaginations in Jesus' name.